well with his feet and hands. So when you have a corner like that, that, that patient and also talented and can run with you, uh, you know, it makes you definitely have to bring your A game. Growing up in Tallahassee, did, did you grow up a Florida State fan at all and kind of know a lot about Florida, see them play every year type situation? Um, growing up, I wasn't even a football player. I was baseball, so I okay. didn't play football or anything, anything uh, football related. Okay. Do you like the challenge of when you hear about Florida secondary and hard race, you know, being one of the best in the country? Does that does that make this week a little more intriguing for you than most, more exciting? Um, not really, because um, if you get caught up in the hype, uh, it it can affect your game neg negatively. So I don't try to get caught up in that. I just want to go out there and play football and try to let my team win. Is there already kind of built-in hype though? From Malcolm talked about where you've got guys from vice versa states playing at either schools and it's the whole Georgia versus Florida kind of deal on the high school level, oh, but then yeah, bringing it in. Definitely. I'm not going to sit here and act like it's just going to be a quiet game and nobody's going to not say anything out there. It's definitely going to be one of those games where there's going to be some pushing and shoving and, you know, trash talking and all that. Um, but it's, it's going to be a good game. It's going to be definitely one to remember. What would you give advice as, as far as giving advice to Grayson? This is his first one of these. What would you tell him? I tell him it's just like any other rivalry you've been in. Uh, even when he was at Virginia, I'm pretty sure they had a type of borderline bash like this before. So don't put too much pressure on yourself. Yeah, how meaningful is it, on top of everything you said, but knowing that you know if you guys win and continue to win, that you know everything's in this team's control at this point. Um, it's definitely in our hands, uh, but I don't want to want to put too much pressure on ourselves. Uh, just go out there and play football, and what's supposed to happen will happen. In terms of their secondary, they don't do they not match and follow with, with Hargraves? Do they kind of just line up Hargraves and Jalen? What I've seen so far is their right and left corners, but you know, who knows what their game plan and they may change it. Uh, but in the day, we just got to make sure we're prepared to run our offense and execute. And what about Jalen Tabor? Uh, I guess Coach was saying he's made some pretty big plays for them on defense. I mean, is he somebody you guys have been really cognizant, aware of? Uh, we've uh, been watching the whole secondary because uh, they all can make plays. Um, so we just have to focus on our game plan and execute. I think if we execute our game plan, we'll be all right. And your position coach, I think, in, at and at Lincoln was Coach Green, is that right? <laughs> yeah. He, he's a, Jacquez Green, he's a big Florida fan. I mean, do you still keep in contact with him as I mean, would it be something you guys exchange messages about this week? Oh, yeah, he does. Um, he he always tells me, uh, have a good game, just don't beat Florida. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but he, I mean, Coach Green, you know, he definitely made me who I am today um, in high school. So, I mean, I have respect for him, man. He's always going to be rooting for me regardless if we win or not, to be honest. So, right. Was that time y'all talked? Uh, about last week. Last week? The game came up in that conversation. <laughs> yeah, <man>. Yes, sir. <laughs> So he was your position coach in high school? Yes, sir. Okay. You said you didn't you know, follow much football growing up, and this will be your third time playing in this game. How much have you learned about this rivalry and just sort of the bowl-like atmosphere that it creates down there? Um, it doesn't matter what the situation is, what's going on with the team, with the record. They're going to play you like it's the first game of the season. You know, everybody's hyped for the game, and it's football. They're going to play you just like that. Big game for the team all the way around, but what about for the offense trying to – come off the performance against Missouri and, and be able to really you know, earn their keep in this game and, and try to win it? Um, you know, we're definitely ready for this game. Uh, the way we play Missouri, uh, I, I guess it's more of a learning experience, and I'm glad it happened then. So now we can learn from our mistakes and execute this game. Are, are you, you know, completely healthy from, from that 